day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. We have been given a task of embodying that in the earth and to continue to embody it regardless of what we come in contact with because you got darkness, but we got to be the light. Exactly. So can we look at it from this perspective? The world is in the predicament that it is in because we as Christians hadn't done our job of loving. Yeah, and that's what he's saying. The harvest is plentiful, but the labors yeah. are fruit few, right? Right. right. And look, and, my, and, then, and the fact is that the evil knows how to twist incorporate the gospel in a movement but if you ever noticed those movements were successful initially but they fall uh -huh. on their own merits but look at this uh bishop brought this up so i just wanted to share it with you guys uh he bishop was right <laughs> it's it's uh there's a picture elder wow. <laughs> 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 Man, I gotta post that. That gotta go on YouTube. <laughs> There's the picture. That's and, and, beautiful. Now, now, Bishop, I don't know if he's upside. I can't tell whether his body was upside down or not. But if you look at the picture, those two Bibles have the similar uh, borders they on do. them. And look at his hand. Look at the look at the shape, the V on his hand. Exactly. Well, his hand, that guy meant to do that. That was that yeah. was. He knew that, what he was doing. Either that or the same demon working in him that was working in this dude. Yeah. Because you don't see, because the Bible, my fact is not only is it upside down, it's not, it's not forward, right? Is, sir? It's not, it's not showing the, uh, the, 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 the word Bible. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you see it? Uh huh. It's, it's, I don't see it up close, but uh, yeah. I, I see what you're talking about. In other words, the book is backward. That's right. This the is Bible good. itself is backward. But both of them got the same borders. Look at the borders on them. Yeah. They got similar borders. But the main thing is you don't see the word B I L. B yeah, yeah. You don't see it, Bible. <laughs> yeah. You don't see it. You know. You know what the foolishness of that is. What? He apparently doesn't know the outcome of this guy that he's he's idolizing over here. Ooh, oh, that's knows. a good point. That's just straight. But he's following after a defeated foe. I mean, the guy lost. <laughs> he was destroyed himself. He destroyed his people. He destroyed his nation, and then he destroyed himself. Wow. If anybody wow. take that's like that, a drunk man going out. That's crazy. The thing of assuming. See, one of the things you have to understand is that. Hitler was not reasoning rationally. No, he wasn't. Right. That's why they lost. <laughs> okay. but, but in his mind, what you call the loss, that is what he sees. You, wow. you, have, you have to understand this. That is why it's important. That's why they could, when the scribes of Pharisees said Jesus is a sinner, they're not making up stuff. According to what they believe, right, uh -huh. right, they understand it. That's it. That's it. You're right. And it's the same thing with white people. White people have been taught to believe that That's right. people are inferior. That's right. That's something. That, that is right. You're absolutely right. So, so, so if you're inferior then you don't deserve the same quality of life as a superior creature. That's right. That's right. So, so that's why the scriptures say you need to get an understanding. See, if you understand what is driving them, and see, behind this whole thing, see, you, you can't understand why Hitler did what he did. You can't understand why Trump is doing what he's doing. But you can't understand why that man lived in the cemetery and cut himself and cried all night long. You can't understand that either, can you? Mm. Who did that? The, the demon in the Bible. The demon there. The guy oh, that yeah. had the legion of demons in him. The yeah. 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 That's because he's under the influence and oh, the power of another being. That's 
said. That will not reason the way you reason. That's the beauty. So, tell me, you, you're acting, rational people will look at the end of the results and say, I don't want to go down this road. He's not, he's not reasoning like that. Hitler was not reasoning like that. Well, I, so I, I, you understand that, you understand that these guys are, are pro putting the foot on the gas headlong in what they want to do because they are being controlled. Now, and, and that taken into consideration, knowing the outcome, the previous outcome, I have to let you get this in for just a second. I don't know if you have to this or not. But Trump has ignored or not been aware of facts. And he, when his decision making process, he ignores reality as we understand the reality. But have we not, as a nation, undertaken the same thing? Have we, have we not as a nation looked at our genitalia and say, I'm a man, and though, even though I don't have a, 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 you know, have we not looked at the science that said that the genetic level, this person is a male or a, a male, so we go in and we get surgeries and we mutilate our vessels and say that, okay, I'm a, I'm a woman now. Have we not glorified that? When Jenna did that, didn't everybody applaud him? The guy defied every scientific every fact that was observable said that's ain't true this is what i want to be this is what i am listen man listen. you're wasting your time all i'm telling you is that the god of this world it's is blinding. not inside of the kingdom then your thinking is jacked up any way you cut it so now that becomes again an indictment on the nation, not just on the man. So when you it starts, it it starts with the individual. Curve. Yep. So the United States of America is in the balance. We have been eating lies and propagating lies forever. And now it's just coming home the roof. These lies are not killing us. Straight up. And we still have not repented. So from the kingdom's perspective, I cannot embrace the United States of America as a entity that I'm interested in saving, not in and of itself. But the usefulness that it is to the kingdom, that's extremely important. I still think this nation can be used by God to propagate the gospel in a mighty way. The resources can be turned at. We have the, the international attention now. How does the church respond to this to bring it back in the hands of the other? It's obviously influenced by the this nation is under the influence of the God of the world. Okay, let's get clear on this. This nation is under the influence of the God of the world. We took prayer out of school. We took the oh, that, that 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 in America. Okay, this nation is under the influence of the God of this world. What God is interested in is saving the people who are in this nation that, that got a chance to be saved. In the midst of all this craziness, there are people out there just like you and I used to be who are lost. And God wants to work to give them a chance to be enlightened, to see the truth that they might be saved. That's what God is after. He's not after this nation. This nation and all the other nations belong to the prince of this world. Amen. 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 You know, you don't understand what it would take for a whole nation to come to God? Well, I remember Jonah preaching to the Ninevites. They did change. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that, anyway. was a, so, yeah. that was a, that was not a democratic nation. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a, a, it was a Gentile nation. <laughs> yes, sir. It wasn't even a Jewish nation. They had a, they had a form of government where if the king said something, it went. That's right. Well, let, let, let's try and see what happens. <laughs> let's see what happens if we preach. Maybe God will say something. If you save enough of us, then that'll offset some of the, the, the downward trend. But that, I mean, that's, that. I mean, I understand that eventually this nation is already predestined for destruction anyway, but... You know, I think there could be as the one brother said there could be. Listen, man, Jesus didn't even save the Jewish nation. <laughs> he was only get, able to get a handful of people out of the old people. That's right. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. Hey, 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 uh, Bishop, I do. I, hey, Bishop, 
Wow. I, I do want to, uh, hey, Elder and I do want to post something. They said that that photo was uh, debunked or something because here's yeah. the. Uh, yeah. that, that, you know, you go always, yeah. I, yeah, I thought yeah. that that photo is not real. Yeah, this photo, yeah. right? This one, this, I'm just throwing it at you so so you won't, uh, just just to make sure. Yeah, I've seen that. It, can you see it, Elder? Yeah. See, there's no Bible in his hands on the, uh, somebody put that Bible in there. Somebody put that, okay. <laughs> okay. Photoshop. I just want to throw that at you. They say it was Photoshop. Cut off. Yeah. You, you do realize that uh, there are a large number of pictures now, authentic, genuine pictures, being surfaced on Hitler. Yeah. I mean, they had never seen before. The spirit that drove that man didn't leave the planet when he died. It's still here. Right. And, and, and I mean, that's that's just reality. The right. Other that we have it, that we're abiding in the kingdom, and as much as the Lord is able to dispatch angels to protect us, yeah, we got that. But as far as the changing of nations is concerned, if we don't get the gospel out there, people's hearts aren't going to change. And, and I think also the movements that we make, you know, as far as social changes and stuff like that is to make sure that, you know, we talk about the Sunday, make sure we glorify God, bring upward, bring him part of the process. And yeah. I think we can do social changes. Because, uh, you may not know this. Huh? Let me say this because you may not be aware of this. But when you use the term social justice. Say it again. When you, use, when you use the term or the phrase social justice, uh -huh. you do realize that you're talking about a movement that is backed by theological foundation. Okay. Say that again. What do you mean by that? <laughs> That's a predefined meaning. You see, it's backed by a theological movement. Doctrine, yes. So, so th the reason that Christians are rejecting Black Lives Matter, particularly the white church, is because they they are in the category of social justice. If you go out there, if you type in the word social justice on your on your on your, uh, on your computer, your phone. You'll be amazed at what comes up. So we may be using this word in a way totally different from the people who are involved in theology and doctrine and teaching. They understand that to be something that is absolutely scary. And I don't. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure if if, if Black Lives Matter know uh, the reputation. And, and associated with this phrase, I'm not. I'm not worried. The, uh, social justice is a Marxist <laughs> ideology based on a Marxist ideology. I know it says here, Elder. Um, this title it says is is like you said it probably goes against uh, capitalism or that's where people don't like to hear is that distribution of wealth. Uh, in other words, it's taking Robert, it's taking you know that pie, right? That that that, yeah. that pie, and it's saying is based on this definition. I, I'm sharing it with y'all. Saying justice in terms of distribution of wealth opportunity and privileges within a society that's communism yeah yeah it is where yeah. that the, what, the, are the, they, what are they put on the one that says what well, is the kingdom of well, well, I, I, the kingdom of god is not a capitalistic environment it's neither is it a democracy so we are we're, we're really at odds with the way the united states of america is ran we are oh, when which you're one? using this phrase, you need to understand what it is that you're saying. Which it one? Has a meaning. And if you're not talking what they're talking, there's going to be confusion in the conversation. Now, click exactly. on, on that one. What is the basis of social justice?
Can y'all see it? I'm, I'm with that, yeah. I'm with it. They did that in the first, when the church took everything that the people stole and gave it to the apostles' feet and they distributed it, that's what that was. So they, they, they when the- what I mean is, when they use social justice, that's not what they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> They, they really ain't talking about that originated, black, they talking about originated in Russia. Yeah, in Russia, they, they, uh, the, the government took oh, over. Oh, Marx, look him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In other words, if, I think the other part of the picture just talking about the fact is, you know, we heard that word before about the term white privileges. Yeah. You heard that, right? Yeah. And this right here is talking about redistribution. Yes. To to bring more equality in the privileges in a society. Yep. And some people, we Robert, we joked last Sunday, you didn't know about it, but we joked last Sunday and said some of these people are fighting for that water fountain that they used to have back in the sixties. Yeah. Yeah. You remember? You know, yeah. they, they say I ain't got nothing else, but I got a water fountain, and those mm. those are those other people can't get to that water fountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so 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 go out there and bring up a book that's entitled "White Fragility." You have to spell that part. Let me see. White. F R I G I L I T Y. Right. F I what? It F -R -I -L. came up right there. F R I L. Type in R, it'll come up for you. F R. Oh, F R. Excuse me. F R. No, yeah. Right there, that word. You should read that's that. the book. Let me go down. See if we got something written on. All it. black people should read that book. Every black person on this planet should read that book. There's a definition there too. It said discomfort and defensiveness on the part of a white person when confronted by information about racial inequity, inequality, and injustice. You should read that book, man. That lady, that lady tells some stuff that we all need to understand. Wow. Mm. About the entire system of racism based on the concept of whiteness. It was built on, it was built, in other words, we're talking about a system that has been built for inequality, in, you know, inequality. It's right? designed for whiteness, and you ain't white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's the United States of America. The, the, the country itself was not settled for everybody. It was settled for the whites that, 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 that and, get and, dirty and, and, and And we, we can agree with that, but the fact is that they took those pictures. You remember the, 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 the Jesus pictures? The, uh, I don't know, it was Leonardo? I don't know who it Everything, yeah. Every concept of any you look, look at any movie, any book, any writing that has anything to do with anything positive. Look at any commercial. Look at any movie. Watch any of these movies. All the heroes are always going to be white people because the movies are produced by white men. Because all of the people producing movies, major movies, are white men. Wow. Because you remember, like I heard, I heard recently talking about. They was trying to come up with the next Jane Bond, and there was somebody was I guess somebody was recommending one of the black actors, and they said the people went off. <laughs> no, so this imagery is necessary in order to affect the minds of people. Wow. That's it. That's it. That's it. The minds of people who hold the concept. Yeah. But wow. in this book, this lady, this lady yeah. tells you how the whole system works, how it wires, how none of this stuff is written down. How all of this stuff is observed and 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 transmitted in codes. It 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 is it, absolutely mind boggling. Wow. And we sitting there want that equality, and that's a threat to a I guess a society. It would be. I mean that, that, that built around another way. That, that, what that, I'm saying is that if you're going to deal with this issue, if you're going to fight this issue, you need to understand what you're fighting. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's not an issue that we can win. You can win because they're telling the truth. No, I you mean, can't win. 
they, 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 they literally have an issue as far as races coming together because all of their traits are, are, are they're, 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 they have recessive traits. Yeah, but but Elder, but Elder, we were talking about the fact that I think you can win if you talk seek ye first the kingdom and bring it in through the gospel, right? You can't, no, but no, that no, means no. they had to get converted. And which means no, what you mean? What I look, listen. The way you win is that you have to go back to the manufacturing. Yeah. Yeah. Of the of the root call. The root call is man. Yeah. yeah. And the only person that can influence a man is God. Amen. Come on now. You know, you know, Elder I, Bishop, I, that's very that's a real good point because if you think about it, you remember when in Genesis, when we went back to Genesis, and they said that Adam produced a child after his end. Remember we man, Adam was producing the image of God. But when he had a child, they they said he was producing the image of after, after his Adam. own image. Yeah. Huh? After after his, his own, own image, didn't they? Yeah. Wow. So so I mean that everything that they fear as far as sustaining their race is is legitimate to me. Their wow. fears are false because if they mix with if blacks produce with whites, their gene pool is gonna be polluted as far as they're concerned forever. I mean, and, 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 it's, and it's reality. It's almost like nature's trying to correct itself and imparting melanin to people that don't have it. That That's reality. They put the intellectual aspect onto it at some point, which doesn't pan out because the, the ingenuity that's expressed in the nation is, is a lot. It's shown in blacks. So there's a lot of stuff that was put in there because of fear that it had to be done demonically imputed. That stuff is not legit. But I understand their fears because they tell the truth. Okay, so we were brought here. We survived the boat ride, which means our immune systems were pretty decent when we got here. We survived the diseases that that, that the Indians succumbed to. We were in slavery and we survived that as a people. We were bred like cattle. And so we were given vessels that were stronger, bigger, faster, and they're very resilient. We had the intellect which they discounted. And that's been made evident even with the, the, the reign of this guy, Barack Hussein Obama, who was hit by this other Agent Orange. So we can see that there is no argument that they have that they can really stand toe to toe and say we are better than the people are. When it comes one to one, they're not. They're that's really about, not. That's, but that's what I'm saying. The gospel, the gospel is one, one body, right? The gospel talks about all of this one, but right, like Bishop was saying is, it's a, it's a mind, it's a renewing of the mind because most of them have been conformed to a way of thinking. That's early. And it's going to take time, but the, the change can happen through the gospel. It yeah. won't happen through, through the flesh. It, it won't, won't happen through Black Lives Matter. It won't happen through government passing law. It won't happen through the government. It won't happen through Congress. It will happen through the Spirit of God and the Spirit of God alone. That's yes, it. sir. And the people who are responsible for this to let the Spirit of God use them in the in the in the reaching and the convicting folks of sin is the church. That's it's right. The yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, 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 Bishop, I did put down. I looked up the uh, that scripture here. I wanted to show y'all because I wanted to show what the concordance is on it too. But it's uh, Genesis chapter five three. But it said, Adam lived 130 years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. And then what I wanted to show you was, I, I you know how you go to concordance and see, I think yours is probably better than this one, but that word image, where is it? Can y'all see that word image? I see one word in that image called fathom. Did you see it, Bishop? It's called what? Fathom. It's, it's down at the uh, bottom here. I, I take it off for a second. It's, you say it's H6754, and the definition is down in the little box. Yeah, Phantom. That is figuratively an illusion resembling his representative figure. Especially that item. 
Especially well, you know, the item. I, image. You know, an image now, be, you have to be careful with the word image because God God forbids any uh, fabrication and production of anything that is an image when it comes down to him. Yeah. yeah. Now, that is because the image of God has to be something that is alive and living. Mm. You find the scripture, God got a problem. He called anything that is not living, that is supposed to represent a God, is called an idol. Wow. I, wow. So, so God doesn't need any images in the earth because he got man. Man is his image. Uh -huh. And man is a living entity. But the living is the listener, but God is spirit. And in Adam, all men are dead spiritually. Woo. So from if you want to be technical from a spiritual standpoint, anybody in Adam is an idol. Woo! Dead, son dead. Because he's spiritually he's dead. Woo! He's no different between he's no different from Molech and all these other images and, and Dogon and all these other images that these he's uh he's been created that's that's it. It. they that's have too, no, they have no spiritual life in them <laughs> hey so 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 look Elder, i guess that means that when people create an image uh whether you white or black you know superiority we we, we really talk about dead images or something yeah now now god is interested in man's image because god can make the image live Yes, sir. Oh, come on now. You know, it's the, it's, it's, it's the, it's the Jeremiah question. Can these <laughs> bones live? <laughs> Make these dry bones live. Yeah. Ezekiel. Yeah, Ezekiel. I'm sorry, I said Jeremiah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 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 so man has, is the only creature that God created that has the potential to call God to be able to manifest himself in the earth. Wow. Yep. Therefore, God can delegate the, uh, his authority through man. God can actually exercise his authority in the earth through the creature that he created for that purpose. That's wow. right. Right. That's right. Wow. That's deep. That's that is deep. Hey, that is deep. But I, <laughs> we probably need to. Now I'm going to have to wrap this up because it's 9.30. <laughs> <laughs> that is deep. That's something to chew on right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. But, but, but social injustice, uh, you're right. You got to check out that definition. It is a threat to some people because it's taking away their, hey, Robert, it's taking away their water fountain, see? <laughs> and they don't want to give up that water fountain. No. Uh, Karl Marx was anti was an anti capitalist. He didn't believe yeah. in capitalism. He no, he didn't. He was evenly distributed. I don't believe in you. Well, the, the other thing too we talked about last Sunday, Bishop, was the fact that uh, what 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 profits a man to to to, to gain. gain the whole world but lose his whole piece of oh, yeah. And, and that's the problem. Right. People yeah, don't want to. Like, uh, that, thing, that thing coming real close to home when you start talking about that thing. I know it. That's I think that's the biggest piece. That water fountain is somebody thinking they gain in the world, but the water yeah, fountain. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Think about it. That's and, true. And you know, Charlottesville was the fact that said is, I will, did you remember that? The quote there said, I will not be replaced. <laughs> I'm not going to, you're not going to take my privileges away. Yeah. And all the privileges, they don't understand that, and Bishop said, I mean, uh, Elder said it last Sunday, the 1% is the one that's in charge. The 1% has got it all. Yep. The, 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 everybody below that is fighting for crumbs, and some of the crumbs are illusions. Like, it's, yep. it's, it's a, a perception that, that I have a status in society that puts me above somebody else and i don't want to lose that i don't lose that you know that one percent of people that one percent
they are seeking to control all the rest of the people. They do. Yeah. Including white people who are not in the one percent. Well, we right. talking about the world. The world. Have the you world. guys heard about the Devos? Was that? Devos, Switzerland? Mm -mm. I did. Yeah, have you heard about it? Mm -mm. Well, Devos, Switzerland, they having a big meeting there uh, coming up. I was listening to one of the uh, financial advisors and they have a big meeting. He said they have it every year and that's where the elite, and he said he can't tell who go who is going because it's, it's top secret. But they have a meeting there every year and probably divide the, the size on world issues. Yeah. Wow. Because they yep. control all the money. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yep. And then other people being faked and fooled because they, they they gave them something. They talked about it in the, when I was doing one of my one of the conferences I went to. And I was talking about when it, during the uh, colonial days, the, the there was that push to try to get that money more distributed again. That social justice <laughs> yeah. was trying, and 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 so so those that were in charge came up with a, another concept. Said, "Well, why don't we give them something?" without giving them anything. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is, see, well, look, we're gonna give you the water fountain. <laughs> we got, we're, gonna, we're gonna give, we're gonna have you say that, you know, when you, remember back in those days, if you were rich, really, even a poor white was supposed to kind of look not in your eyes, right? Not to, you know, he had to, you were, in the caste system, you were lower than the other person. You was called, those guys were called lords, right? In the caste system back in Europe. Okay. Lords, right? Lords. They 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 had blue blood and all that. Yeah, stuff, yeah. Right? Okay. Okay. And, and and so so when it came to the United States, there was a push to try to equalize that, that status a little bit. But so what they decided to do, look, we're gonna give you a status. We're gonna give you something. You are not gonna be the lowest thing out here. And if you remember all the way up to the Civil War, Blacks for 400 years was not supposed to look in the eyes of a white man. Right? <laughs> yeah. He, he, he was not supposed to be above any white man. So that gave that poor white man something that he could hold his head up to. Uh -huh. Because somebody had to look up to him. But it was nothing that the rich gave him that was of any significant value. Right. That's right. But that's why the water fountain I've said came in. <laughs> you, you just wanted a privilege that that would keep you off my back. Yeah. And you'll fight to keep that privilege, therefore you use racism. You use uh, torture and slavery and everything else because you're protecting what Bishop was talking about a social structure that perceives or gave somebody a perception that they have something. But read the book, man. If you read that book, your eyes will come over to a whole lot of stuff. Wow. Talk about that white fragility? Yes, sir. Okay, I gotta get that book. Oh man, okay. Well, we covered a lot. And Bishop, we got to, I'm gonna have to bring that up on Sunday. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it, read some of that, and bring it up. All right, uh, Elder, you gonna bring prayers out? Yes. Father God, forgive us our sins. We will say again that we might have unhindered communications with you, Father. We thank you for having taken this opportunity to bring us together, bind us together on one accord by your Spirit. Speak to our hearts. Reveal the deep things of your word. Father God, we ask you, above all things, use us to the furtherance of your kingdom. Show us how we ought to behave in every circumstance, situation, in a godly manner, a manner that brings glory to you, a manner that's going to draw people to you, Father God. Because we know that not many races is shy of salvation. Father God, we want souls saved. We want to be used to save human souls because we know once they are made alive by you, 
all those things that vex their spirit, all those demons that hold them bondage, Lord, all those things that prevent them from, from just having life in them. They go away or they eradicate it by your presence. And so tonight we pray for Donald L. Trump or Donald Trump. And we even pray for Putin tonight, Lord Jesus. We pray that you begin to touch the heart of these two men. Yes. Yeah, because you give it to them and you allow yeah. them to. We understand, Father God, there's no more threat to anybody than they are to themselves. So they leave the planet in the state of, un of un unreconciliation, not being reconciled to you, Father God, that their souls are going to go to hell. And we ain't mad with them. Lord, we see the desperate need for your intervention in their lives, your, your interest into their lives. And so we're asking you, Father God, for the, for the well-being, for the souls of Donald Trump, for the souls of Vladimir Putin, Lord God. We're asking for the souls of the of the, the ones who hmm, who come against us and, and come against themselves, Lord God, with the radical behaviors in the in the in the in, in the racist attitudes. Lord, we're asking you to save their souls, but we're also asking you to save the souls of the black folk that don't come to know you. Yes, 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 Lord. And that just act in all lewd kind of manners and those who have turned away from you and those who don't know you, Lord God, a whole generation of children that need to be preached to who might not even have heard the name Jesus Christ and know anything about you. Lord, we're asking you to strengthen us to do the work. Help us, strengthen us, Father God. Move in and through us to accomplish your will in the earth that somebody might be saved. Use us, Lord God. We understand why things may be hard for us sometimes. You suffer, we gonna suffer. But your suffering wasn't unto nothing. You suffer unto our salvation. And we pray, Father God, in your holy name, that when we suffer, it's towards somebody else's salvation. Thank you, Lord. We our cross, and we, we follow after you daily in the hopes that somebody's soul might get saved. You came to seek and to save the lost. And I pray, God, that you continue your search using us to do the work. Work through us, Lord God. Let everything that we do be done to your glory and the furtherance of your kingdom. And this I pray in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. 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 amen.